for sure. Yeah. We, we just spoke on like two different cases. Let's get down to one last one. Mm, mm, mm. Logan Paul versus George Janko. Logan versus God and Jesus and the entire religion. Oh, facts, facts. That, that's a way better way to put it. So if you haven't seen, Logan Paul, George Janko, they were having this heated debate about religion. George is a fellow Christian. He loves Christianity. He loves Jesus. He loves the Holy Trinity. Logan Paul does not believe in all that type of pseudoscience. He considers himself agnostic. He, yeah, Logan Paul is agnostic. They, I, I thought he was atheist from all of his claims, but agnostic. If you don't know what that means, you believe in a higher power. Um, so they were having this conversation, and George brings up the fact like how Logan Paul in the future, or in the past, like he's spoke about religion in a way that kind of like hurts his feelings mm. and it started from logan paul saying jesus christ fucks and <laughs> now george is like oh man he's he's like disgusted by that claim um supposedly there was a they they every single time that they have a discussion about religion they Logan Paul is, like, very aggressive in that sense. Mm. He always talks about, like, how, oh, how are you going to be sitting in the same boat as the people that are condemning what people should love? Like, he's talking about gay people. Yeah. And George is talking about, like, yo, that's, but I'm not on the same boat as those people. It's like, we have a belief that we could speak about, but you're, you're put, you always assume that I'm part of the whole gang, you yeah. know? And now they're, they're arguing over it. Mike is being a great mediator. Um, one of the things that Logan Paul did say, which kind of got me frustrated, is like he's talking about him being on the same boat as all those other people who condemn gay people or like being on the same boat as hateful speech. Mm -hmm. It's like, Doug, aren't you on the side of the woke hateful speech? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like you were talking about Andrew Tate talk, uh, speaking about misogyny and the things that he's saying about, but you're only looking at the bad, the worst parts of it. Right. So, it, and you're also so you're looking doing at the, the worst same. parts of misogyny. No, I mean, you're, you're talking about, you're taking the worst parts out of Andrew Tate's speech. Right. But, well, what was it? But uh, to summarize, people are, are trying to cancel, apparently, the, you know, the can it's not, it's a soft cancel for sure. People are upset at, J at uh, Logan for his comments toward Christianity and feel like, he was being rude to George in this conversation and uh, going a little too hard on Christianity. A little bit. A little bit. Did you guys watch the clip? Yeah, I saw the clip. I what? watched the whole podcast. I didn't know it was going to be a thing because I watched the entire pod just listening. And I thought it was a, It was actually a pretty good... It was a boys pod. And I listened to the whole thing. I thought it was cool. I did not think that this would be a headline at all. Because it was... If you watch the whole thing, it was pretty well discussed and like a pretty good conversation as far as like them both like george even being happy that they had the conversation and like them laughing and then they kept doing callbacks to it later on in the podcast so it's weird that this stuff becomes like headlines but i think also it's because people are like they're clip whores they just take the clip and like they'll, they'll get the worst parts of it be like couldn't you believe what logan said but it's like in the context of the conversation it seemed like a pretty good conversation and it was funny yeah i mean but i think the whole conversation that logan was having was like and I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with anything you said, but the the issue is like, oh, okay, the grouping of stuff, right? Like, oh, how do, can you say, oh, you're a Christian, you love Jesus, you love all this stuff, you condemn homosexuality, and then people that have died in the name of Christianity and all that stuff, like, and then George is like, bro, I'm just a believer, and I just want to kind of, like, give my own idea about stuff, and you're kind of, I'm messing, I'm, you're bringing in all this other stuff. You're kind of, like, listening. forcing it. Yeah, you're, you're, it's, it's, it's like, he was talking about... You what, you just said something right before that. You were, you were talking about uh, jo Logan Paul um, speaking, like him combining it or condensing it all under in, one, in one, one umbrella. One umbrella. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And George was just saying in the sign, in, in, like I kind I agree with George because the things that he was talking about was just that. Yo, this is me. I'm trying to express my beliefs versus me just trying to force it upon somebody else. I feel like when Logan Paul takes jabs at George from whatever he said, it is like, oh, you, you, he, he said something about like, you need to go to therapy because Jesus is not doing enough work for you. Yeah, like shots like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's, it's like you're kind of taking a shot at the dude's belief. Of, and it, and it seems of like, Christianity where he, it doesn't seem like George does that to him. It's like, oh, you don't believe in a God at all? Yeah. Like, ugh, like you're, you're disgusting, you know? It's like, you're not saying shit like that to him. Uh, I feel like some people can believe in... I think people need something to believe in, whether, whether it's God, whether it's science, whether it's yourself. Uh, I think you, you kind of need that. I don't think Logan Paul would get anywhere without believing in something. Just like he said, he's agnostic. 
Um, I think it's kind of fucked up when you kind of get attacked. I, think, I, think, I don't think I think agnostic just basically means you don't practice any religion. Yeah, you don't practice any religion. You just believe in a higher power. I don't think necessarily believe in a higher power. I think he does, but agnostic. Uh, I, I think agnostic, you just don't deal with religion. Hmm. Oh. It just seems like Logan has these preconceived notions. Oh, you notions thought that because about... Logan said he believes in a higher power and he's agnostic. Oh yeah, I thought I thought agnostic meant that. I didn't know that. A person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence of nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomena. A person who claims neither faith nor disbelief in God. So they're just like in between. That's why he's not technically agnostic if he believes in a in a higher power. But mm. that's what, that's what he would consider himself because he just doesn't really deal with religion which is but, fair enough to me but george made a point though he was like i have conversations with people that hate me and we have better conversations about religion this topic than i have with you and you're my best friend and it's like why are you coming at me so hard about this shit because you have these preconceived notions about religion and you're like attacking me with it like oh you guys always do this you guys always do that but it's like well why? they they have a certain like barrier you know like our friendship our banter we could say some things that like we still know it's jokes you know so i'm gonna assume that it, from his perspective it's like bro this, this is literally a joke about something that you believe in it might hurt you a certain type of way but yeah see, it, I, I mean it I don't, I don't mean it maliciously but that's the thing like i know i know some people that are like pretty they're very religious but even that i don't know someone that talks about their religion as much as george does but me personally i feel like religion is something i, I wouldn't really play with like that but i feel like because logan's a white boy like his he's different like oh like he got sick he's like oh good gives you more time to pray you're over there praying like that's that I feel like kind of funny if i had a friend like logan i would think it's funny because i know logan or even like i could see like jc making jokes like that mm -hmm. but then again i've never been someone that's like that religious but obviously if someone is telling you they don't like the way you joke with them about their religion that's the part that they didn't really get to clean in the conversation which is that's all that really comes down to like oh he doesn't think it's funny how you make certain comments about it but then logan will double down and be like well it is true about the gay part that is a group that doesn't like gay people and then it just kind of kept going in circles. But I still thought it was a good conversation. But Didn't think anyone did anything wrong. That's a terrible statement to just throw everybody under that umbrella like that. You're going to have radicals of everything that you believe in. You're going to have radical Republicans, ra extreme Democrats. But we see it now with the extreme radical. liberal. But I'm saying, but the, the homosexuality, there's some where it's like, because there's different interpretations of the Bible where it's like, oh, we love everybody, right? So then that would love, include love that, that, would, that would include but, homosexual, but homosexual. All, Yeah, it, that's why some, some people put a positive spin to it. But I mean, homosexuality is... Uh, it is um, frowned upon in Christianity. In and a lot of religions. If anything, it's mm. a minority now of people, of churches that are starting to become more and more accepting toward different things. Jesus is gay. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you've seen the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's crazy. I've seen, I've seen fuck, that shit written up places. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's just like, there's negative parts to a lot of religions. Uh, it, that's probably all you could really say to that. Like, there's but, negative parts, but it, it depends how yeah, you practice yeah, like, things and who you are as a person. That's dangerous. That rhetoric, that rhetoric is very dangerous because we we said the same thing about Muslims when the whole 9-11 thing happened. Like, oh, if you had on a, a hijab, right? Yeah, you're looking at them crazy. You're you're kind of like Muslims, making sure they're not they're not trying sin. to blow you up. And it's like, no, that that is that's not me. That's an extreme side that says America is bad. That's and stuff why. Like but that. like, that's extreme. But all religions pretty much denounce being a homopho or being homosexual. So that's not an extreme. That's actually more like following the letter of the book. I think it's more the human side of us and the progressive side where people will be like, yeah, I know what it says, but it also says to love thy neighbor. So even though the Bible may say it's a sin, I'm still going to show love to these people. I don't have an issue. It just happens that my religion does technically say that this isn't allowed. I think there's a way to go about it, but it is actually by the book more. It's not really like crazy to denounce being gay because that is the religion, but people become more progressive and woke. <laughs> and then I, I think it comes from a place of like Logan also not knowing what he's talking about too because that's what George was saying he was like bro do you even know any scriptures and then yeah, Logan's yeah. kind of like ah oh, you don't really know about it so it's like yeah, you're talking about something you don't parts. know about and you're just shooting at me about it it's like, bro, it's like you, you, you're already starting off on the side of not liking the religion yeah. because of certain things like you, maybe you could even assume that George thinks women are property because the Bible says that right but he's not he okay for the argument's sake I, I don't think because he does address that Logan addresses that um, that the five pillars of religion it does a lot of great like it's really good for people. Um, I just feel like that was just like a friendship thing about them about jo George getting shit on or it just aggressively joking about his faith where the guy believes in it so much. I think I think it was it was fun to watch. Um, I don't think Logan Paul deserves to be canceled for something like that. Yeah, it was nah. conversation. It was a literal conversation. I know, bro. George wouldn't even cancel him. They were just laughing after that, <laughs> making jokes about it, going on with the rest of the pod conversation. Like, 
that's why it's kind of weird. Like, wait, how are you mad? And George wasn't even mad. That's like, it, was, was like, it was like a 40-minute debate. <laughs> and they planned to do that debate on, like, or they didn't completely plan it, but they're like, yeah, let's go with it. Because they were just fishing for topics to talk about. Because they were just freestyling at that for for a lot of it. Like, they had some topics in mind, but they were just freestyling. And they'd had that conversation earlier in the day anyways and talked separately. So Mike, it's Mike's, content. Mike was a great mediator, too. He was talking about, like, how sometimes when Logan gets into that aspect of like bring the swords out you know he talks about especially when somebody's talking about religion he talk he kind of goes to that extreme side of it and goes to the worst parts of it but when you're trying to argue like that you're not gonna let somebody you kind of put somebody into a shell like it, for example i don't know if you guys saw the fresh and fit myron uh date with Sh- cheyenne briggs mm. or Sh- cheyenne reynolds whatever her name is but he when it's like you're supposed to be on a date and he just, as soon as she says a point, he's just going in like... He has to with a list of stuff he's already researched. Stuff, like, oh, logic. what about this? What about... Yeah. And I feel like that that's kind of maybe how Logan probably... It's like you're not open himself. to receive the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's like you're going to either make jokes or just kind of shit on the aspect of the religious, the, the worst parts of the religion. And mm. had he not shit on it, it, they wouldn't have had that great discussion, bro. Because Logan never stopped. Logan so many times has been like, you know what, bro? I see what you're saying. I respect that. But it's not good content. And I do think part of that was also Logan it's continuing content, to press. Yeah. yeah, bro. Some people just know how to make good content. And yeah, that's why yeah. I was able to watch the entire pod. Hmm. Did 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 they say anything? Well, the uh, what's it called? What did they say about Andrew Tate on that pod? I didn't I didn't get to that part. Andrew Tate. Um, they actually Mike was kind of saying. To be honest, I think we might have played the Andrew Tate thing a little bit wrong. And then <laughs> Logan was basically just saying, "Fuck him, I'll beat Andrew Tate's ass" type shit, and like <laughs> just not really. Uh, oh well, he was saying like ever since he got kind of uncanceled. He, like, you ain't, actually the same shit I was saying, that you're not seeing that same uh, type of stuff he was talking about. He's not saying anything radical. He's not saying anything crazy. He's not really talking about women in that way at all. And, I mean, I just feel like, yeah, it's true, but, I I mean, I wouldn't come at it the same way Logan was, because Logan was trying to say he's full of shit and he's fake because of that. It's like, nah, I mean, that shit got him canceled, bro. (laughs) You don't want to run it back. And, And also, I feel like, at this point, he has to actually vouch for his own narrative as far as how he's perceived and make it very clear that like he has positive messages and he has a funny side and Tristan's getting a lot of shine now. So fuck it. 